Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we have heavy number one out, guys. Yes, the first heavy duty record that we ever purchased for our tow company, Ace Towing and Recovery. And today we got a call from the same people with the RV. We've been helping them out for the past two days now. And uh, today is Monday. And you guys know how Mondays are. Sometimes it's just the week starts so terrible, guys. So they were camped out with their RV. Uh, apparently they were too close to the water. High tide came in today and uh, yeah, now the RV is underwater. So we just got a call from the police department. We're gonna go to respond over there and see if we can help them out um, by pulling the RV and trailer from out of the water. Now I'm not sure how deep it is. Like I'm assuming maybe it's like a foot of water or something. And I don't, I don't know, who knows? The whole thing could be underwater for all I know. So we're gonna head out of head over there and check it out. I do have one of our other units heading over there as well, one of our F-350 units, just to help us out with any rigging. I'm probably gonna have to do some scuba diving today too, um, depending on how far underwater it is. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this episode started. And let's go, guys. Heavy number one is in service here. Alright, guys. So, we're going to be making this uh, left turn right here and taking this dirt route. And, oh, shoot. Alright. That's definitely more than a foot of water, guys. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take a look at it, and let's see how bad it is. It's looking worse than I thought, though, for sure. Looks like we got Eric already here. Let me see if he uh, went in already. Here's the police here, too. Looks like they're doing a, uh, I'm guessing, an accident report. Oh, boy. How you doing, officer? Oh, here's the owner. Oh, boy. Hey, Jim. Yeah, man, you've been having an unlucky couple of days, man. I'm, I'm so, so sorry this happened to you, but I'm, I'm going to try to get you out of here, okay? I got you. Don't worry. I'm going to figure something out. Oh, boy, this is some deep water here, guys. Uh, the, the back don't look so bad. Um, we may be able to try to pull it from the back. Just pull it the same way it went in. Um, that may be an option, but I don't want to put too much weight on the trailer though and break anything with the trailer. But yeah, you guys can kind of see how the high tide came in because all of this was not underwater originally. So we have a couple of feet of water. Actually, you could tell that the high tide came in because normally, I mean, there's a campfire here. So normally the water would not be this high. It's kind of crazy how the fire is still burning, but yeah. High tide, man. Oh, boy. Now, honestly, I'm thinking I may have to pull it right here. Um, it's really hard working on the beach with the sand and stuff like that. I don't want to put my truck in the sand because I'm just going to get myself stuck. But this stuff over here is a little bit harder packed down. So I'm thinking we're going to put the truck over here and try to winch it out from uh, this way here. So that's going to be the game plan. Um, I'll let Eric know and let's get to work. Alright, so we're going to try to just back up right over here. I don't want to get too close to the water. You guys see how bad the traction is here. We are kind of slipping a bit. But I'm going to kind of set up right over here. Alright, so we'll start here and then we'll, we'll probably just reposition as necessary. Let's go ahead and get to work here. I'm going to get the truck ready. Uh, 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to let Eric get my truck ready. He, he'll be able to put all this stuff and start with the rigging. I'm going to actually start the scuba diving so that we could go ahead and uh, connect to this thing. It doesn't look too, too deep, though. But I have to go under there for a little while to get everything connected. So I'm going to get the scuba diving equipment. Hey, guys. We are in our scuba diving suit. We haven't had to use this thing in a while. Let's go ahead and go down and see how deep this water is. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Ah, this thing may be wrecked, guys. That's a lot of water. It did not even look so deep here. And like I said, normally this whole area right here is not even on the water until about until about right here is where the water normally starts. So damn. This is some heck of a high tide here. Alright, so let me grab the uh, winch lines from Eric over here, and we're going to go ahead and grab them and see if we can uh, connect down to the bus. Now, we are on a slope too, so one thing we're going to have to be careful is make sure as we're winching, this thing doesn't start rolling because there's a lot of water on this side, and the slope is going to just kind of make it kind of want to naturally roll over, so we're going to have to take this nice and easy, guys, but... Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> I just realized we got no flippers. What's going on with our feet? <laughs> Don't mind that, guys. I just realized that. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. All right, guys, so we are now ready to start the winch out. I uh, actually had to go ahead and reposition our truck a little bit so we'll get a better angle and avoid the RV flipping over. Uh, Eric's going to make sure that he keeps a, a good look at the other side here. So you guys see he's giving us a thumbs up. And if he sees that it's going to start flipping over, he'll let us know. And also, guys, I realized something was wrong with our truck, too. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the arm was black. It was supposed to be red. <laughs> I, I was wondering why it looked different. I was like, I didn't drive this truck in so long. What's wrong with it? But I had to restart the game. When I restarted, I realized that was the problem. Anyway, guys, we are ready to start winching out now. So let's go ahead and get started. And here we go. It's coming up good so far. Let's take a look at this side. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and keep on winching it now. Got the front tire out of the water, guys. We're going to winch it forward a little bit more. Try to get it uh, completely onto the ground. And then we'll work on trying to get it hooked up to the tow truck. Alright, we got uh, all of the wheels on to dry land with the exception of the trailer, but that should be fine. Let's check the condition of the hitch. Looks like it's still good. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, tow this RV, maybe pull it forward just a little bit more, but we'll go ahead and start towing it. For the trailer, I could technically tow the trailer with the F-350. Should we tow with the F-350, guys, or should we just tow it all with the uh, Peterbilt at one time? I think we'll just do it all. It's not too bad of a load, so let's pull it forward just a little bit more, guys. And 
All right, perfect, guys. So we got it all on land. Let me work on getting it attached to our truck, and we'll tow this thing out of it. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get our lines detached. Oops, wrong button. There we go. And now, let's work on getting it attached. Let's take a look at the other side, too. All right, looks like we are good. So we'll just slide the under each under there and get it attached. All right, guys, we have the, the uh, RV lifted up here. We'll just go ahead and chain everything down, make sure we have it safe to be transported. And we'll go ahead and take it back to the shop now, guys. All right, guys, it is now time to get the heck out of here. So uh, let me try to get onto the main road here. Let's slowly start to pull forward. And there we go, guys. Another successful recovery by Ace Towing. All right, so we're going to take this back to our county location in Sandy Shores. Let's try to carefully get onto the highway here. One thing that we never get in this game is like a break in traffic. Oh, here's one of our trucks. All right, we could cut off our own truck. Oh, shoot. Why would you go to the left? Go to the right. Oh, boy, this is about to get bad. Okay, we're good. We're good. This is a... Pretty long load. Oh my god, <laughs> freaking traffic, man. <laughs> oh boy, get away from me. They're running me off the road here. Alright, just go fast. Go, go, go. No, oh, they are the worst in this game. I'm just gonna get into it. Even though left lane is a fast lane, I'm just gonna. Oh god, he's trying to get around me. <laughs> Well, we gotta, I don't know, this is just crazy. It's gonna actually turn back into a one lane anyway now. Try not to kill nobody, but, um, AI just don't know how to drive here. Oh my god, he did the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> he went under the trailer. How did that even happen? Holy crap, that was crazy. Uh, we're gonna make this left turn onto Route 68 now. Alright, that's one of our construction trucks. He's letting us go. Kinda, sort of. <laughs> I gotta figure out a way so that they don't hit vehicles were towing. Some of you guys are giving me ideas, but I gotta see um, which ones actually work and stuff like that. Cause that was crazy. So this guy's been struggling to get in front of me, went underneath our trailer, fighting so hard to get in front of us, and now look, he's barely even moving. Oh, my turn signal has been on this whole time. Oops. Alright guys, so at this point we have a little less than three miles to go, so we're just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and I'll uh, see you guys once we get to the shop.
I really don't understand why they drive so slow on this road. About two more miles to go. I'm a little all over the place with this load. I gotta take it nice and easy. Barely made it right there. <laughs> oh, I forgot, guys. So, yeah, since we use the uh, flood mod to um, basically raise the water level at that location, <laughs> I forgot it raises the water level all over the map. So, Sandy Shores is actually kind of flooded out, as you guys can see. Maybe we should do some recoveries like uh, just towing cars out of the water like this or something. That would probably be a cool video to do. Take a look at that. There's never water right there. side of Sandy is pretty mm, flooded over there. And we made it guys. We are here. Alright, so we'll take this to our rear yard and park it in the, uh, oh my goodness, the gate kind of closed on us there. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. It's probably going to detach it, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, 
Oh, there we go. We did it without detaching it. All right, perfect. All right, guys, so I'm going to pull this into the backyard there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And if you guys would like to check out the behind the scenes to this video, uh, check it out on my website, acepilot2k7.com. I will be uploading it later tonight. On my website, I do have a bunch of free stuff. I have tutorials that teach you how to install mods, download and install mods to your game. I also have um, mod lists as well, so you can find out where to download all of these mods from. And if you guys would like to become a supporter on my website, you can become an a scrabber. You get access to a couple of extra features on my website, such as the behind the scenes videos. So if you guys want to see the behind the scenes, how I did the winch and all of the cool effects, check that out. And also I have a uh, first access section as well where you get to watch some exclusive videos that are only uploaded on my website. So if you would like to check that out, definitely consider becoming an Ace Grabber by signing up on my website. Again, that's acepilot2k7.com. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.